Good morning, guys. I'm checking in here real quick before the start of the stream. I was asked to talk a little bit about what happened with Evelyn in 9.2, the most recent patch that came out, uh, because there were several things that changed that affected us. First thing I'll mention is that uh, there are a couple new bugs introduced with the quality of life updates. And what they did is basically make it so that our E, our empowered E, I'm actually not sure about the basic one, but that doesn't matter as much. Our empowered E doesn't apply on hit effects currently, so I don't know when they'll fix it. I'll let you guys know, but right now, Lich Bane is not applied by our E, which makes the item worse. Um, and uh, Revolver, same deal, whatever. Um, the second bug is that our E, Empowered E, does not always follow through with enemies. I've had it happen several times now. Uh, you E them, you go to the destination where they were, they flash away, and you don't follow them. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating. I've had to waste my own flashes chasing people when I really shouldn't have. And uh, hopefully that gets fixed quite quickly, or at least a reaver. But that's kind of the bad stuff that happened. Um, the good stuff is that one of our other bugs was fixed this patch. So the bug with a W where it goes off when somebody uh, or stops casting when somebody runs out of vision is gone now. Fixed. That's really nice. Um, some little changes. And a lot of people are confused by this. So... Um, there is now, I believe they called it buffering for our Q recasts and our ultimate, uh, after our E, our ultimate after our E. Uh, and what that means is effectively your Qs and your ultimate will come out slightly faster and you won't have to mash it as fast as you had to before. <laughs> Uh, the way that, you know, computers work, internet works, is the ability doesn't happen until the Riot server uh, realizes that you've asked it to cast the ability. And there's there's latency, there's a little bit of time. The ping, that's the amount of time it takes to for your commands to get to the server. Uh, with the uh, buffering, or uh, whatever they call it, I forgot, um, what it does is... Uh, it'll store your previous commands while it, your queues are unavailable. So as your queue is going out, the next time you press Q, it's already remembered. So effectively, you get zero ping on your queues and zero ping on your ultimate following your E, which is great. Uh, reduces uh, latency stuff and reduces your, you know, key press latency, which is very minimal too, but hey man, it, it helps. Um, so that's the Q change, the W change, the E change, and the ultimate change. Now, there are some other things. Um, key runes got changed. So we lost two flat AP from the um, stat runes on the bottom right. Each rune lost one, so that's a little bit of damage lost. Absolute focused lost, I think, between 3 and 10 AP, depending on the level. So that's that's a pretty big hit there. Late game, we're losing, you know, 25% uh, of absolute focus damage. So uh, that being said, I've been exploring some other uh, runes to take. I saw that Metaphor has been running uh, Perfect Timing and Futures Market in Inspiration. It's pretty good. Uh, so stopwatch is always really nice and it empowers your zonias very nice and uh, futures market also is quite cool now that I think about it because it lets you get your Nisi large rods more easily so you will be able to afford them more often which is pretty cool um, that's the biggest kind of uh, positive that I could think of from that uh, I have been trying some precision keystones. So I have ran Legend Tenacity. Um, I have ran Coup de Gras and Cut Down. And I have also tried Presence of Mind. 
Now, out of all of those, actually, I think I don't like Presence of Mind the most. I've always been damage oriented, but I just don't feel like Presence of Mind is is good enough. I feel like Presence of Mind is only good in games where you're you already won. Like if you're getting that many kills, you don't you don't need extra ultimate cooldown. You have it already because <laughs> you're not using your ulti to kill people, probably. You know, um, so. I don't really like it. And the reason I don't like it is because the other options I think are pretty good. Uh, so cut down specifically, I'm being surprised by. Uh, cut down is really cool against things like Lissandra, Echo, people that build Proto Belt and and um, um, like Rod of Ages and stuff or whatever. Any HP items really. Um, People that build those really expose themselves to a lot more damage, and as long as you just have, as long as they have just ten percent more uh, HP than you, you're getting four percent extra damage on your entire hundred to zero, which is significant, and that goes up significantly if they actually build HP items and such. And I think it's a decent rune um, because we don't build any HP generally, specifically versus the champions that don't run that do run these kind of HP items. So Leandri's Oblivion Orb slash Morello Nomnicon, uh, Proto Belt, um, all, all that stuff. I, I don't know, Black Cleaver, Black Cleaver for the more AD centric guys. That's all That's all good stuff. So Cut Down has been interesting. Coup de Gras, when Cut Down, it doesn't look like it's gonna do anything versus like assassins and just 80 carries and stuff so yeah that's about it for now we lost quite a bit of damage oh and also the jungle changes uh i haven't noticed a slower six some people say they do but i i really i think it's the same amount of camps um so i haven't really felt it at most i'm down a camp in the late game or not a camp a level in the late game from what i would have been but i, I really don't feel it guys uh the gold i'm not really sure I, I don't think it's that much different either uh so overall i'm having a lot of success uh i don't know yet if you know sorcery is really if i'm really ready to release sor sorcery uh you know, water walking, gathering storm, and absolute focus might still be the best, but I'm trying out different things to see how they work out, and I'll let you know how that uh, ends up working out. So, in conclusion, I think Evelyn lost an okay amount of damage with this new patch, but overall, I don't think it affected her that much. I think personally, at most in the long run, for me, it means that I'm putting more points into E. You guys know that. I historically have liked to put more points into W because I felt like we had enough damage and such. And I think that W is the easiest way to get utility and E is the lowest amount of damage that you can give up for that utility. But with the constant damage nerfs, I might have to just bite the bullet and put more, put like three, four points into E before starting to put points into W. That's what Evelyn looks like right now, and uh, I hope you guys are having success with her in the new season. I know I am, uh, and I'll see you guys around. You have a good time.